In Commitment 2022, State Senator Jason Broder is facing pressure tonight to resign and drop out of his race for re-election. His challenger and others held a protest outside of his office. And as West News political reporter Greg Fox explains, Broder's employer in the private sector is getting tired of the politics in the workplace. Our election integrity is at stake. State Representative Joy Goff Marcil was among other Democratic leaders and volunteers, demonstrating outside the office of her opponent, Republican State Senator Jason Broder. And yes, there was a person dressed like a ghost. They're angry that it appears Broder won his seat in 2020 with help from a ghost candidate. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of making. His former employee and Seminole County GOP party boss Ben Paris was last week convicted in the bogus candidate scheme. Also, the sworn testimony of disgraced former Seminole County tax collector Joel Greenberg was released, in which he alleges Broder was involved in planting the phony independent candidate to hurt the Democrats' chances. Now Democrats are calling for Broder to resign and drop out of the race against Goff Marcil. Whether his feelings are criminal or moral, he should not be representing this community. They're also calling for an investigation by the state. Why isn't Governor Ron DeSantis and his election police looking into this? The board of the Seminole County Chamber of Commerce, where Broder serves as president, is also taking action. In a letter, the board described the ongoing ghost candidate investigation as ugliness and said the chamber's executive committee will be undertaking a systemic review of our operations and its involvement in politics. That includes an extensive review of Jason Broder's tenure. Broder issued a response saying, I appreciate the diligent work of the board. I am proud of the great work we have done to serve our member businesses and will continue to focus on helping our community be successful. No objection to the order, Judge. Thank you. The call for Broder's resignation came on the same day the ghost candidate, Justine Iannotti, was granted permission to travel to Sweden as long as she returns for hearings and trial. Political strategist Eric Fogelsong is the third person charged in the case so far. We've reached out to Senator Broder both about the Greenberg sworn testimony and also the conviction of Ben Paris. Neither he nor his campaign have responded. In Seminole County, Greg Fox, West 2 News.